Thank you for joining me for my handicap hack for hearing aids for people who are losing them or can't tell which one is left and right. We are going to solve this problem with creativity. So here's what was going on. My elderly dad, his hearing aids would fall off his nightstand and then he couldn't hear anything till I got there and crawled around the floor and found them. And, and then even when he did know where they were, there's little tiny dots on there, red and green, that tell you which one is right and which one is left, and they were too small for him to see. So he was always trying to put the wrong one into the wrong ear. So creativity is for more than just making art. Normally I'm teaching art and drawing and all kinds of creative craft classes, but the more creative you are, the easier it is to figure out how to solve life problems. And it is an essential skill. So we'll see how we applied art and craft to solving this problem. This is what I made him. <clears throat> so this is a little box and it has the um, left hearing aid in the green side and the right hearing aid in the red side. If you don't already know, um, the right hearing aid always has a red dot. R is for right, R is for red. So that's how you can tell, except that um, if you're a little older and you have trouble seeing, you can't see that dot anyway. <laughs> so here's how we made it. So you'll need a little, uh, some red and green felt, and you'll need a little sectioned wooden box. We'll talk about that in a minute. And my favorite glue is Aileen's khaki glue. You'll also need a ruler, uh, a marker, I use a Sharpie marker is good, and a paintbrush for smearing the glue around and scissors. The box that I used was called a mini display box. Uh, when I bought it, it's, it uh, said on the bottom, create a scene with miniatures or collage. Uh, it, you likely will not be able to find this exact same box, but in your craft stores, in the wood section, or in the section, uh, a dollhouse a store, or something like that, you should be able to find some wood like this. And if you find a wood box that's not sectioned, you can always use a piece of corrugated cardboard in the center to section that off. So the first thing you do is measure the footprint on the bottom of each sec section. And I drew that on the felt and I added a little bit around the side. We'll see what that does. That's gonna, that's so the felt will go up the side sides of the box just a little bit and measured that out and cut it. And then I cut the four corners off and put the tacky glue directly onto the box and smooshed it around with an old brush. I keep a couple of old brushes, especially for glue. And then I place that red in the right hand side. I chose this side for the right because this box for whatever reason had a little knob on the right and dad's right handed. So that made it easy for him to grab the box. I am not drawing with the pen here. I'm using the pen and end of the pen to poke the felt into the corners so that it stays glued in there. Then we put the green in the left hand side. So here we have it. And I thought it was great. And the next day dad reached for it before he got out of bed, before he had his glasses on and he bumped his hand into it and it slipped off the nightstand and the hearing aids went onto the ground and I still had to crawl around to find them. So we had another problem to solve here. So I got that little rubbery waffly stuff. They call it shelf paper It's or shelf liner. It's not really paper and um, got my tacky glue again and put the tacky glue on the bottom of the little box and then just put this uh, shelf liner stuff on there after it dried and glued i trimmed any excess off the edge and voila it worked perfectly it never felt off fell off his nightstand again and he was very happy and it helped him feel more um you know like more in control of his environment and independent and that he could do things himself without calling me up to come crawl around the floor and find hearing aids so this is a pretty easy project to do. If you have a loved one who runs into this problem, it was a fun and easy project. Dad was a World War II veteran 
and in reconnaissance in the 4th Photo Tech Squadron in Italy. And we, I took care of him the last seven years of his life. And during that time, his great granddaughter was born and they got to enjoy each other for four wonderful years. And because he had his hearing aids, he could hear her. <laughs> so thank you. And if you enjoyed the presentation, please like it and subscribe. And you can explore more creativity with me at Ocean View Arts, uh, where I mostly do art lessons and consultations and friendly feedback and uh, online craft workshops. So have a crafty day and I hope you enjoy your creativity.